Hello everybody, I'm your host Woody and today we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 real people who got possessed by eBay items. There's a surprisingly large market on eBay for reportedly haunted stuff, so let's get into it. Number 10, Han Solo. No, Han Solo did not get possessed, he was the thing doing the possessing. One look at this Stormtrooper toy is already enough to make you feel like it's cursed. Han Solo's lifeless eyes staring out into space are enough to put you on edge. And as much as I thought Harrison Ford was a hottie in the movies, I just can't get past those eyes. So take in its unsettling visual appearance and then the way it apparently haunts the people who own it. The person selling it said that when they came into ownership of the toy, they started experiencing strange and terrifying things. That's because there is apparently a spirit trapped inside the toy who perished in a house fire, his soul coming to possess the stormtrooper. As a result, anyone who owns the toy will be haunted by hallucinations of a house on fire, and you apparently can't escape it when you go to sleep either. It will reportedly give you nightly nightmares of the man who died screaming while the house around him is engulfed in flames. Number 9. Doorknobs Asylums are often known as being incredibly haunted. This comes from the fact that many people believe ghosts and spirits come around from having a traumatic death or having unfinished business on earth. With the history of mental health care practices as scary and unethical as it is, it's no wonder that these sort of places are busy with spiritual activity, especially after they've been shut down and abandoned. This seller on eBay had two doorknobs that he claimed to have taken from an abandoned asylum that apparently had many reports of strange noises and other paranormal activity taking place. These aren't just nice antique knobs, but instead hold the trauma of angry ghosts who will want to make your home as terrifying and haunted as the asylum they came from. The person who owned them said that doors in their home would often open without cause and they could hear people's voices when nobody else was there. Number 8. Teddy Bear While some haunted items may definitely look the part, being torn up, withered, and maybe having that soulless look in their eyes, there are some possessed artifacts that actually look pretty unassuming. For one, this adorable little teddy bear that I found. His name is Joshua and he's pretty cute, but he also apparently sets off EMF readers and is possessed by an angry restless spirit. The people selling it found him at an estate sale and apparently when they held the teddy bear, they immediately started to feel upset, overwhelmed, and anxious. They used a spirit box to try and communicate with whoever was possessing the doll and it responded that he felt alone. Apparently being an old man who had recently passed away and has been unable to come to terms with the fact that they're dead. Because of this, they are apparently trying to latch on to someone to continue their life and not need to accept that they're dead. Number 7. Haunted Bra Let's follow that up with something a little bit weirder. Not a haunted teddy bear, but instead a haunted bra. While possession is a big scary word, it may not always have to be a bad thing as this item claim. The person selling this size 32A bra says that it is haunted by a woman who lived a life of many romantic adventures and wild partying. When she died, she somehow attached her spirit to the bra. If you wear the bra, you will find yourself having the same romantic success that she did in her life. It's also said that if you light a candle by the bra, the woman spirit will appear. And if the candle is red, the woman will possess you and you will have a quote, erotic encounter with the spiritual world. I'm not quite sure exactly what that would be and what it would include, but I'm about to place an Amazon order for a bulk pack of red candles for a totally unrelated reason. Number 6. Anguished Man Haunted paintings are nothing new and have supposedly been around for centuries. So let's take a look at a few that have been put up for sale on eBay and have apparently come to haunt and possess those who own them. The first First is called the Anguished Man painting, and it's honestly pretty horrifying. Definitely a man in anguish. The person selling it described it as a haunting paranormal portrait, and yeah, that seems pretty accurate. Here's how the seller described the painting affecting him. Since owning this painting, I have experienced a number of strange paranormal events that cannot be easily explained. These include hearing disembodied footsteps from elsewhere in the house, the sound of birdsong appearing out of the air in the living room, and finally Finally, observing a heavy metal door latch lift by itself and the kitchen door open by itself. He goes on to say that this is a great gift for a less than loved one. Number 5. The Hands Resist Him This painting is probably one of the most well known haunted paintings.
paintings. If you've been taking a drink every time I say haunted, I'm concerned for your health. The painting is titled The Hands Resist Him and shows a young boy with a large doll of a girl and disembodied hands reaching out behind them. A couple in California discovered the painting in a brewery, but didn't keep it for long as they became convinced it had supernatural powers and was affecting their life, putting it up for sale on eBay. The listing included a warning that said, this painting may or may not possess supernatural powers that could impact or change your life. The boy and girl in the painting would apparently fight each other, and at one point the boy reportedly vanished from the painting. It's also said that it will possess you and affect your mental health, as people who even just saw photos of the painting reported feeling sick and depressed. Number 4. Dybbuk Box A Dybbuk, spelt with either a Y or an I, is a term from Jewish folklore that refers to a person's spirit that is stuck in purgatory, having the ability to possess items or even people. So the Dybbuk box that this person is selling apparently has a person's spirit trapped inside. When he originally purchased it, they told him to never open it. But he didn't heed that warning and did it, keeping the box in his basement. Shortly afterwards, he returned to the basement and found that all of the lights had been smashed and there was an incredibly foul smell in the air. He didn't figure out that it was caused by the box at first and so he ended up giving it as a gift to his mother. Soon after, his mother suffered from a massive stroke. In the hospital, she managed to write out the words hate gift, referring to the box. Then everyone in his family started having the same recurring nightmare and he finally decided that he needed to sell the box and remove its control from him and his family. Number 3. Carving This eerie and sad looking carved man was found by the seller's grandparents in the attic of their new home back in the 1950s. They asked the original owners where it had come from and they said it was a gift from a prisoner who had carved it. The carving apparently became possessed, though whether it contained the spirit of the prisoner or somebody else, I don't know. Anybody who owned it would start experiencing strange occurrences around the home, and the spirit in the statue attempting to reach out and take over their body, not wanting to be trapped inside an inanimate object. The seller said that the television would turn on and off, lights would flicker, and kids' toys would turn on even if they contained no batteries. Anyone who came close to it would apparently experience strange feelings like the carving was attempting to communicate with them. Number 2. Haunted Statue Next up we have another artistic piece that is apparently haunted by the restless and angry spirit of its deceased creator. The seller said that this piece was created by a man named William, who worked construction and would spend his spare time making statues out of clay. This specific statue, which is pretty creepy on its own by the way, was made the same day that William passed away in a freak accident on the construction site. When a co-worker later returned to the site, they saw that the statue was still there, so he decided to pick it up and take it home with him. As soon as he got home, strange things started happening. Doors would slam with no explanation, lights would turn on and off, decorations near the statue would be shattered and destroyed, and sometimes the statue would turn around and face different directions. He said he also felt unwell mentally and would sometimes see a strange shadow next to the statue, deciding he needed to be rid of it and putting it on eBay. Related anecdote from my childhood, when I was a kid I had a 2x4 piece of wood that I painted a face on and I named it Steve. And he was absolutely terrifying so me and my siblings would hide him around the house like in cupboards and under pillows in order to freak each other out. I don't know if I've mentioned it before but I was a pretty Pretty weird kid. Number one, haunted dolls. Finally, we get to talk about the haunted dolls that will apparently try to ruin your life and possess you. In researching this video, I went down a rabbit hole and learned that there is an entire market on eBay dedicated to selling dolls that have apparently become the home of various different spirits. They are listed with what kind of spirit is inhabiting them, whether it be a happy one, an angry one, or even one with motherly intentions. The descriptions usually tell stories of where where they found the doll, how the spirit died, and what things will happen to people who own it. They are also sometimes stated to be beginner friendly or not beginner friendly, I guess basing that on how much experience you have with dolls with ghosts inside of them. There are just so many of these strange and insane stories that range from terrifying to hilarious that I am actually going to be making a full top 10 video of just haunted eBay dolls, so if you're interested in that, keep your eye out over the next week. Thank you guys for watching. That was 10 real people who got possessed by eBay 
items. Would you ever or have you ever bought something haunted off eBay? Let me know. If you enjoyed this video, then feel free to like and subscribe and maybe check out some more of our stuff. I've been Woody and you've been amazing. Join us next time for more lists and scary things. <coughs> To a bra says that it is haunted by a woman. <clears throat>